a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Sometime while the Galactic Republic still reigned light years away, almost 80 years before the destruction of Luke's Jedi Temple, or BDOT for short, on a distant remote backwater world in the far reaches of the Outer Rim, a town owner named Dofer bought a butler droid that would serve his family for over half a century. Several years later, there were a series of wars that split the planet's inhabitants and sent the dinosaurs into exile. Eventually, they planted an insider into the political arena. Golasso took over and framed town owner Rudolf, Dofer's son for the escape of dinosaur leader King Dino. Rudolph and his supporters fought back, and Dino and Glosso both fled. Rudolph soon after has a son, Chocolate, and when Chocolate nears the age of 20, he takes over the town as Rudolph retires. 20 years before the destruction of Luke's temple, rogue Sith Darth Maul and Darth Baca lead the Imperial Remnant into an alliance with King Dino and attempted to destroy Rudolph's alliance. They were defeated by New Republic forces, and Maul was killed in combat by Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. King Dino is also killed, but Glosso escapes. His apprentice Darth Baca escaped, and eventually took on his own apprentice, Darth Wu. Kyle Solo is born around this time. Three years later, Luke Skywalker takes on his first apprentice, the Jedi Padawan Palmer, and officially begins the New Jedi Order. Palmer's twin brother declines the offer to join the Jedi and disappears. Two years later, Luke takes on two more apprentices, Miles Caffini and Muscle Man. The following year, Carlita Solo is born and is taken into hiding by Luke Skywalker. Around this same time, heroes Rudolph and Tiger pass away, and Rudolph's son Chocolate heads off to Coruscant to represent their planet in the Senate. The town is then ruled by a descendant of Quack, Macaroni. The following year sees the reemergence of Darth Baca. Baca teams up with Glosso, and Glosso kills Quack. The two attempt to wreak havoc on Macaroni and his people again, but the Jedi arrive to stop them. Baca confronts the Jedi, and he is defeated in combat, with Padawan Kafani delivering the killing blow. Glosso is also killed. Baca's apprentice Darth Wu remains in the shadows, unknown to the Jedi. He will eventually reorganize the Imperial Remnant and take on his own apprentice, Darth Opanis. Shortly after the death of Baca, at least four more Jedi are recruited into the Order. The Jedi later known as Momo, Yaki, Tony Biz, and an unnamed Jedi who eventually will oversee the training of Tony Biz. One year after the death of Baca, Padawan Palmer's twin brother, known as Lord Palmer, meets a woman and the following year she gives birth to their daughter, Trinipla. Around this same time, Padawan Palmer is knighted, the first among the new Jedi Order. Three years later, Trinipla's mother is murdered by Lord Palmer and he once again vanishes. The Jedi discover the scene and Luke and Palmer take Trinipla into hiding for her own protection. Kafini and Man are also knighted. Two years after them being knighted, Padawan Yaki, Padawan Biz, and the Padawan who will later be known as Momo are all knighted. The following year sees the Jedi later known as Momo take on an apprentice who soon falls to the dark side and dubs herself the Evil Girl, and she leaves the Jedi Order. Around the same time, Kyle Solo has a falling out with his parents. He takes on the last name Kemlin instead of Solo and joins the new Jedi Order. He begins his training under Jedi Knight Palmer. Within a year of leaving home, Kyle's parents, Han and Leia, are killed by Lord Palmer, who leaves no trace and once again vanishes. This event drives a wedge between Kyle and the Jedi. New Padawans Hunter and Adson are recruited into the Order. Tony Biz takes on Hunter as his apprentice, and the Jedi later known as Momo takes on Adson as his second Padawan. Around this time, the evil girl recruits and trains three Jedi hunters. The following year, she sends her lead Jedi hunter on a mission to intercept and kill Tony Biz. Tony Biz defeats the lead Jedi hunter and is able to escape. 
The lead Jedi hunter is then killed by the evil girl for his failure. A year later, the evil girl sends her two remaining hunters after the Jedi, later known as Momo, and his Padawan Adson. One of the hunters is killed, but the other escapes and leads Adson back to the evil girl. The evil girl betrays her remaining hunter in a ploy to lure Adson to the dark side. He then kills the remaining hunter. Devastated by his betrayal, the Jedi later known as Momo confronts and kills Adson, driving him down a dark path. He then gives in to his anger and kills the evil girl, dubbing himself Darth Momo. Jedi Yaki, now a master, senses his friends fall to the dark side and confronts him, wounding him and leaving him for dead. Momo survives the encounter and escapes, taking on another apprentice, Darth Arcturus. Sometime later, Lord Palmer resurfaces and hunts Tony Biz and Hunter while the two are on a training mission. Lord Palmer kills Biz, but Hunter escapes. Lord Palmer is soon able to find him and kill him as well. Once again, Lord Palmer vanishes and leaves no trace of his presence. Several months later, the New Republic learns of Momo's survival and places a bounty on him, forcing him to have to deal with a bounty hunter. Momo's apprentice Arcturus confronts him and attempts to overthrow him, but Momo kills him instead. A rival to Momo, named Darth Rell, emerges and is able to defeat Momo in combat, leaving him for dead. Momo barely survives, and after weeks of healing, he goes on a revenge rampage and kills Master Yaki. He then experiences a vision of a mysterious force wielder named Davakum, who blinds him and him being a Jedi once again. Angered by this vision, Momo storms off and finds the bounty hunter he fought and kills him. He then experiences another vision of Rel. Prepared to face him, he hunts down Rel and savagely kills him. Davakum then appears in the flesh and bests Momo in combat, blinding him and vanishing. Momo then is approached by three force spirits while meditating and is taught how to see without his eyes. He then abandons the title Darth and names himself simply Momo and attempts to wield the light and the dark. He then confronts Kyle Kemlin, who left the temple on an unimproved mission. Momo is able to best Kyle in combat. Kyle flees and warns Palmer, who is now a master, about Momo being alive and responsible for the recent series of killings. Momo then begins training for another confrontation with Dava Kum. He confronts Dava Kum, but is defeated by the villain, who destroys his lightsaber and disappears. Momo finally lets go of the dark side and becomes a Jedi once more. He finds his Jedi lightsaber and his eyesight is restored. He then fights Dava Kum and defeats him, but at the cost of his own life. Momo then becomes one with the Force. With the Jedi low in numbers after the series of killings over the last few years, the Sith Darth Oponus and Darth Wu prepare to emerge. Lord Palmer contacts Oponus and helps her to overthrow Darth Wu, making her the Empress of the Imperial Remnant. Now in power, she seduces Kyle Kemlin to the dark side, dubbing him Darth Negadon, and the two attack the Jedi Temple and destroy it along with the remaining Jedi, except for Master Palmer who is off-world. Negadon hunts him down and the two duel. Palmer wins and leaves Negadon horribly injured and left needing a life support system to survive. Master Palmer then goes into hiding. A year into his exile, he is hunted down by a Mandalorian mercenary, but he defeats the mercenary with ease. Four years later, Darth Negadon has taken on a secret apprentice, Darth Zanduku. Opana senses this disturbance and summons Negadon. Negadon arrives with Zanduku and the two attempt to overthrow Oponus, but she easily bests them. She pits the two against each other, promising the champion a place at her side. Zanduku defeats Negadon and Negadon flees. Zanduku is then made Oponus' new apprentice. Master Palmer intercepts Negadon and brings him back to the light, making him Kyle Kemlin once more. The two Jedi prepare to confront the Sith, while Oponus sends Zanduku to confront Kyle. Kyle and Zanduku duel. Kyle defeats Zanduku and leaves him for dead. Palmer heads to the Imperial Palace to confront Oponus, but she is able to hold him off, and Palmer flees. Oponus recovers Zanduku, and Palmer sends Kyle to watch over Trinipla while he relocates to a new hideout. Three months later, the Sith finally track Palmer to his new hideout, and Zanduku is sent to kill him. The two fight, 
and after Kyle arrives to help, Zanduku cuts down Master Palmer, and he vanishes, becoming one with the Force. Kyle duels Zanduku and is able to defeat him before he can deliver a killing blow. Oponus arrives with Commander Flank and kills Zanduku. Kyle kills Flank with little difficulty, and he duels Oponus, but Oponus is able to beat Kemlin, and she sends him running. Oponus places a bounty on Kyle Kemlin. Meanwhile, Master Palmer's Force Ghost reaches out to Kyle, ordering him to protect Trinipla. A bounty hunter salvages the scene of Master Palmer's second home, and after hearing about the bounty on Kyle, he goes after him. The two face off, but Kyle is able to defeat him. Oponus then reports the series of events to Lord Palmer. Another bounty hunter, Bloodstreak, attempts to collect the bounty on Kyle. Kyle kills him as well. Lord Palmer orders Oponus to follow Kyle and to capture both him and Trinipla. Master Palmer's force ghost manifests before Kyle and instructs him to find Trinipla and begin her training. Kyle approaches Trinipla, but they are chased off by a stormtrooper. Kyle begins teaching Trinipla about the force. The two are then captured by Oponus and Commander Harsh. They are then brought before Lord Palmer. Lord Palmer duels Kyle and easily knocks him aside. He then fights Trinipla and reveals that he is her father. He tries to recruit Trinipla, and she is tempted by his power, but Kyle is able to distract Lord Palmer and the two flee. Desperate for a place to regroup, they set out for Master Palmer's old home. There, Trinipla enters a nearby cave of darkness and experiences visions. The two Jedi return to the Imperial Palace and fight Oponus and Lord Palmer. Lord Palmer kills Kyle, and Trinipla flees. Master Palmer then appears and sends her to seek out Zanduku, who survived, and has promised to help defeat Oponus and Lord Palmer. Zanduku trains Trinipla for six months, and after overcoming tensions, they are confronted by Darth Oponus. Meanwhile, Master Palmer's Force Ghost appears to Lord Palmer in the Cave of Darkness and attempts to persuade him to abandon the dark side. He refuses. Zanduku and Trinipla defeat Oponus together and hurry to the Imperial Palace to confront P Lord Palmer. They fight him, but Lord Palmer easily handles them. Before Trinipla can engage Palmer in a final duel to the death, Oponus returns and leads the stormtroopers against Lord Palmer, enraged at her overlord's control over her and the Imperial Remnant. The two destroy each other, and as a result, the Imperial Palace is destroyed, while Trinipla and Zanduku escape. With the dark side defeated, Zanduku and Trinipla celebrate while they are watched over by the force ghosts of Master Palmer and Kyle Gemlin. Over a hundred years later, a group of tourists wander the desert on Rudolph's planet and come across Rudolph's old service droid, who lives with C-3PO in an abandoned Republic shuttle. The service droid recounts all the tales of the wars and struggles between the dinosaurs and Rudolph's people to the tourists.